post match drink at the clubhouse. Nothing like it. So nice to be back at the lawn tennis club and have a thrash about on the court. Yes, takes me back to our school days. The Wigglesworth Clump Partnership, unbeatable doubles champions for five years running. Yes, I remember our first year at girls' grammar school. We were so equally matched as opponents in the singles that the PE mistress suggested we progress to the doubles or there'd never be an end to the single final. <laughs> of course, the first year we didn't really know one another. Different forms according to alphabetical surnames. I was in 1A and you were in 1D. Yes, and at the end of the first year exam saw us both in the A form in the second year, top 2% in the cohort. The other 98 being W, X and Y. Yes, A for alpha, the creme de la creme, destined to study Latin and German. Unlike the other forms, commoners who thought they'd done well by passing the 11 plus. Thank goodness for the A form, that's all I can say. Yes, do you remember the way some of them used to snigger when they heard us reciting our German phrases? Yes, show their juvenile mentality. I mean, why would you laugh at Ich habe ein Mutter und einen Vater? Do you remember that mouthy scouse girl in 2Y? Oh, yeah. My mum always mutters when we got fat. Says they could have used them in chemical warfare. It'd have a lot of them. So bloody common. Oh, and that's when we were uh, learning the fart family. Auto fart, extra fart, fart wind and gross fart. It beggars belief. Remember Frau Weiner, Weiner by name and Weiner by nature, a right sourpuss. She went out with the boys' school's German teacher, didn't she? Yes, her Furter, Frank Furter, although he always maintained he was from Dusseldorf. Yeah, and we overheard at that time. <gasps> Frank, ich liebe dich. And the girls from the wife all thought it was hilarious and get repeating. Ich liebe dich. Then they go around counting. Ein, zwei, drei, vier, fünf, six, and put the emphasis on six. Such low mentality, and their behaviour was appalling. Yes. Remember that time our chemistry teacher asked me to go to the lab, used by the Y form, to ask Dr Morgan for some magnesium ribbon. And when I got there, he didn't hear me knock, because there was some sort of convention going on inside. Yes, I remember you telling me. You opened the door and heard him saying, can you smell something, 3Y? There's a funny smell in you. Yes, and what he didn't see was that a smart ass had put a joystick in the mouth of the skeleton on the side of the blackboard. Trails of smoke above his head and all the Y girls giggling. <laughs> <laughs> it's a pity they haven't got smoke alarms in those days. It would have served a lot of them right if they'd got a real good drenching. And remember that hammer throwing PE mistress who also taught maths to the lower math set. Miss Bunch Troll went on to be headmistress of her own school, I believe. Yes, the ground actually shook when she moved, stomped around like a bloody pachyderm. Well, one day she threw a board rubber at the gobby gang leader of 3W, but she caught it and pitched it straight back at her. Watch <laughs> Bunch Troll straight between the eyes. Bunch Troll couldn't catch her. She was a hundred metre sprint champion for the county. <laughs> Another time, that dewy-eyed Billis from 3X copped it. She was the one who wouldn't say boo to a goose. But, but rumour has it that Bunch Troll didn't like her and Billis was apparently getting something out of her desk and was too slow putting the lid down. At, at, in a fit of temper, Bunch Troll picked up what she thought was the board rubber and launched it at her. And the trouble was, it turned out it was a steep steel-toed walking boot that smacked Dillis's head off just as she put the desk lid down and knocked her backwards clean off her chair. I mean, she was out for the count for a good five minutes, so her friend said. Got taken to the medical room for, for the morning. Nothing else was said about it. Wouldn't be able to do that now, more's the pity. The kids in school are mollycoddled now. Nurture groups, well-being sessions, airy fairy nonsense. But we have to be seen to be engaging with it for the government body. No conquer fights, no climbing trees. Bloody health and safety gone mad. Nothing wrong with good old fashioned discipline or falling out of trees. Soon develops a good sense of balance and motor skills. Yes. What happened to Vene Vidi Vici? Oh, I came, I saw, I conquered. 
That's the mentality that achieves. No mamby-pamby nonsense. Good old Latin. Unfortunately, not everyone agrees. Most people think it's an obsolete language. They just don't realise how much of what we say has Latin roots. Well, at least the Catholics know Ave Maria. You won't believe it. But I was speaking at the governor's meeting last week about maintaining the status quo with the current staffing structure. And the parent governor piped up, I'm not into rock bands, so I can't comment. To say I was speechless was an understatement. Oh, I think there are a few who would know vice versa or some of the abbreviation forms, EG, for example. Yes, but they wouldn't be able to say what the E and the G stood for. Example, Grazio, or IE, that is, Idest. Such a tragedy. Oh, the words alibi and subpoena are the only Latin the criminal fraternity are aware of. I don't think anyone on the benefits culture would have a, a, an idea of CB, let alone know the Latin curriculum vitae. They never worked in their lives, most of them. They, have, they don't have anything to put on a CB. Conversely, you and I have extensive CVs and have amassed remuneration and reputation benefiting of A-form grammar school girls. I therefore suggest that we should celebrate. It is, um, after all, 10 o'clock. Oh, I thought it was earlier than that. How does wine o'clock become gin o'clock so quickly? 